Hi guys, it's Dan here. It's Dan Gruber showing you how to expand your content within Google's People Always Ask. So when you search something in Google, this actually pops up here sometimes, which is the People Always Ask section. And as you can see, these are questions related to the search that you're actually searching in. So uh, Google essentially correlates all of these questions together and actually ranks people who answer the questions best within this section. So you can see that this company here, Search Intent Watch, is actually uh, ranked here for the Is SEO Worth It in 2020 question, as they've answered that within their content and obviously they rank for it. Again, if I look at another example for this, how can I improve my Google ranking in 2020? This different company here, uh, Web Ascender, actually ranks for it with their answer there too. So it's a really great way to um, actually instill some trust in Google that you're actually an authority within your niche and obviously to rank for some new key, uh, key phrases too. So it's a really great technique to actually apply if you can get these questions down. Now, obviously, it can be quite time consuming to go through and try and find each question within here and search different things to find them. But there's this really nice tool here called SEO Minion, which I really recommend you actually download. So it's actually just a plugin for Chrome. So if you just search um, SEO Minion plugin, it'll pop up. And all you need to do is actually press download there. And then it's actually on your um, dash at the top there. So once you've actually got that, you want to head over to your search. So say, for example, I search something like, how can I improve my SEO in 2020? As I just showed you, all of these people to uh, people always, uh, uh, all of these people also ask actually, Say, for example, I search, how can I improve my SEO in 2020? Uh, all of these people also ask questions pop up here at the bottom, uh, but it'll actually pull in all of them through SEO Minion. So uh, SEO Minion tool here is on the right hand side, and you can see I've got these options here when I go on this drop down. Now, these uh, five options here are the ones you want to focus on. These are actually uh, going to download either the first 10 um, questions that are there through Google, first 20, 50, 100 or 200, and put them all in Excel sheet for you. So it's really valuable information and it's really easy to actually do. Uh, for this example, we're just going to do the top 50, but oftentimes we'll usually go for the 200 as obviously it pulls in uh, the most results for us to actually look through. So all you want to do is obviously make sure that's on download, uh, select the 50 clicks as I said, and then press go. And what it's going to do, it's going to pull all that into you, uh, an Excel sheet for you. So obviously with all the keywords in that Excel sheet, you're able to work through and work out which ones are worth actually um, adding onto your site and answering within kind of some of your articles um, to obviously help improve ranking for those key phrases. You may also choose to actually create a new page of that entirely if you feel like that question actually deserves one or needs one. So that's actually something for you to decide when you're actually analyzing the key phrases. So we're going to wait for that to actually download then and then we're going to show you that actual sheet when it's done. Okay, so that's done. So we're going to just press the download there. And as you can see, it's popped up now ready. So basically these are actually all the uh, different uh, people also ask questions that are actually within Google related to your key phrase. So as you can see, they're all super relevant to what we were searching and will be really relevant for kind of an SEO or marketing website, which is what we're looking for for this example. Now, what you can do, you can work through these individually and have a look and see kind of if you've got them on your site, you can put them through kind of a bulk keyword checker if you want it, if you're interested in kind of search volume for it. So it's kind of different ways that you can analyze this. Uh, what we like to do though is actually go for this uh, actually key uh, key phrase here. So we go site semicolon www.farank.com and then actually put in the uh, question itself. So if we go back to that sheet quickly, uh, say we use the example, is SEO a dying industry? So we just write that on the end of there. Is SEO a dying industry? What that's going to do, it's going to find whether we've actually used that within our website. And it doesn't look like we have at all, actually. It looks like we've not used that key phrase at all. So that would suggest that we don't really have uh, that content on there, which might be a really good one for us to answer within our actual site. So uh, there's different ways that you can analyze this, as I just said. You can analyze it through that. You can actually put all the keywords into a bulk checker and check if they actually get search volume, all that kind of thing. But basically, what's really great is if you start answering all these questions uh, within your um, within your articles, within your pages for your website, you're going to rank for more key terms that are related to your actual um, niche. And also, you're going to just kind of show Google that you're an authority in it by answering the questions that they want answering. So it's a really great way to actually dominate the um, people always ask uh, section in Google and obviously show that you've got a bit more authority in there. Alternatively, another great way of doing this technique is actually going to this website here called seotesting.com. Obviously, you need to set up an account for this and set up your website through it. But once you're actually in the dashboard section like this, all you need to do is go to reports uh, and then scroll down to the bottom and it's the questions to answer section there. And as you can see, when I click on that, it's actually going to pull back loads of different suggestions uh, with actually the clicks, impressions, uh, CTR from Google already pulled in, which is really nice and handy. Obviously, it saves you a step there. And you can find some new ones through there as well. So there are a few different techniques of ways to do this, but uh, they're probably the best two ways that um, we found so far to actually answer Google's people also ask questions and just a great way to show your authority through the niche really. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys later.